my time with Adam and Don. Hello everybody and thank you for joining us here at the Canyon City Public Library for another virtual story time. We like to start our virtual story times off with a song. It's sung to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and it goes a little something like, Oh welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, let's have some fun. First we'll clap our hands just so. Then we'll bend and touch our toes. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, let's have some fun. Good job, guys. Hopefully everybody's still staying healthy and still enjoying our virtual story times. Have a great story today. Pearl and Squirrel Give Thanks by Cassie and Ryan Ehrenberg. Published by Orchard Books. Pearl and Squirrel, Squirrel Give Thanks by Cassie and Ryan Ehrenberg. Inside a box beside the old corner store lived Pearl and Squirrel. Pearl loves to play. Her favorite place is the park. That's where she met her best buddy Squirrel. Squirrel can be very shy, but he's very smart. He likes to read and learn new things. Together, they roam the city looking for adventure. One morning, Pearl wakes up extra hungry. Get up, Squirrel, she shouts. Just a few more minutes, groaned Squirrel. Pearl nudges him. Come on, I'm hungry. They head out to the park looking for something tasty to eat. Squirrel would like something fancy. Pearl is much more or less picky. They see Stan, the food cart man. He's always kind and happy to share. There you are, he calls. I have something for you. A special treat for Thanksgiving. Squirrel eats slowly. Pearl does not. Pearl wonders what Thanksgiving is. Thanksgiving is when you share what you're thankful for. With your family and friends, Stan explains. I'm always thankful to spend time with you two. Pearl gives Stan a goodbye lick before they continue to the park. Hey, Squirrel. Let's try Thanksgiving. We can point out all the things that we're thankful for, Pearl says. Squirrel responds with a shrug. Well, all right. They walk through the yards. I'm thankful for fetch, Pearl calls. They walk through the playgrounds. I am thankful for jump rope, Pearl yells. At last, they enter the park. I'm thankful for this fountain to swim in, says Pearl. Yuck! It looks dirty, Squirrel replies. They reach the meadow. I'm thankful for new friends, Pearl calls. I'd rather sit, Squirrel says. I'm thankful for this cuddly nap spot, Pearl says sleepily. Squirrel just nods. Crack! They wake up to rain pouring from the sky. Pearl watches as people take their pets and leave the park in a hurry. We better get home, Squirrel shouts. The streets are cold and wet. Pearl and Squirrel shiver in the damp air. For the first time that day, Pearl feels sad. She wishes they had a real home. I'd be thankful to live here, nice and warm. With hot food each day, Pearl says with a sigh. When they get back home, their box is already soaked. Pearl curls up in the driest corner. I don't feel very thankful anymore, she says quietly. You know what, Pearl? Squirrel asks. You're my best friend. No matter where we live, I'm most thankful for you. Pearl smiles wide. Squirrel. You're doing Thanksgiving. Pearl and Squirrel cuddle together and try to stay dry. But soon the soggy box is breaking apart. Shivering in the cold, the two suddenly hear footsteps getting closer. They look out to see. Stan! There you are. I've been looking all over for you two, he says with a smile. I thought you might be cold on a night like this. 
Want to join me for a nice Thanksgiving dinner? Pearl jumps into Stan's arms, and Squirrel c cuddles inside his shirt pocket. Stan helps them get clean and dry. I'm thankful for soap, Squirrel says. I'm thankful for towels, Pearl shouts. Next, they sit down for a tasty holiday dinner made just for them. You know, says Stan, I have plenty of room here if you'd like to stay and live with me. Pearl and Squirrel jump up and give him a big hug. I'll take that as a yes, Dan says with a laugh. Pearl and Squirrel are thankful to have a new family and their own place to belong. The end. Pearl and Squirrel give thanks. It's a great story. We have many of them here at the library, guys. Be sure to stop in and pick up some of our new books. I am thankful for being able to be here and provide our virtual story times and still doing our in-person story times. So, how about a little song? Um, it goes. How about a finger play? We'll go. Get our fingers out. One, two, three, four, five. He goes, five little squirrels sitting by the door. One ran away and now there are four. Four little squirrels climbing up a tree. One ran down and now there are three. Three little squirrels <clears throat> with a coat so new. One ran away and now there are two. Two little squirrels sitting in the sun. One ran away and now there's one. Five little squirrels. The end. Today I'm going to read Dino Thanksgiving, written by Lisa Wheeler, illustrated by Barry Gott. and published by Carol Rota Books. Dino Thanksgiving. In autumn, there's a thankful mood, a holiday that's filled with food. All the dinos jump and squeal, Thanksgiving, it's their favorite meal. Every dino airport slammed, every road and highway jammed. No matter where each dino roams, today there is no place like home. T-Rex wakes at crack of dawn. It's time to put the turkey on. He takes the bird out of the brine, seasons it with sage and thyme. Although it won't be done till five, by noon his guests will all arrive. Compy eyes the roasting meat. I'm hungry, is it time to eat? The TV's on at Trudon's. They watch as dinos twirl batons. The gleaming floats are all displayed. It's the Dino Thanksgiving Parade. Balloons go by as Mimi cheers. She went to see it live this year. As drummers drum and trumpets blare, a giant turkey floats in air. Tricera sautés greens with ease using Grandma's recipes. He mixes nuts into a bowl for sweet potato casserole. The broccoli's chopped, the salad's tossed, He's boiling up cranberry sauce. There's corn and beans and fruit galore. No turkey for this vegisaur. Some dinos leave their neighborhoods, go over the river and through the woods. Aloe follows Stego's gaze. Let's get lost inside a maze. The dinosaurs decide to race. Between the rows, Leso gives chase. Compy's time cannot be beat. I'm hungry. Is it time to eat? As crawling babies scatter toys, the football game is background noise. The taros watch. It's twin and twin. Both brothers hope the red scales win. Next door amidst the pots and pans, the house is full of snacker fans. As football lovers cheer and shout, dino kids run in and out. Out back, little cousins play ping pong, tag, and lawn croquet. Raptor helps them fly a kite. They're building up an appetite. The children won't be underfoot, although their kite has gone kaput. Compy rolls up on the street. I'm hungry. Is it time to eat? Inside dinner cooks and steams. Outside dinos pick their teams. 
Flag football is an old tradition. It keeps the rowdies from the kitchen. Playing is a lot of fun. Watch the dinos pass and run. No time to find out which team won. Come and get it. Dinner's done. Compy is the first one in. He wipes the drool off of his chin. There's turkey, stuffing, pie, and more. They all share what they're thankful for. Football, friends, a winning team, mom and dad, my twin, ice cream. Over at Tricera's place, smiles appear on every face. Each one brought a dish to share, fruits and veggies everywhere. They all join hands from large to least. They're truly thankful for this feast. Then, uncles boast and aunties chatter. Pets upset the turkey platter. That chair doesn't look too stable. Food fights at the kitty table. Old stories told, some dinos weep. Then grandma and grandpa fall asleep. When each scrumptious dish is passed, the meal is done at last. Some dinos sit and sip a cup, while others start the washing up. Then all the dinos come together in crisp and chilly autumn weather. They walk to calm their tummies down to a bonfire at the edge of town. They played, they laughed, they worked, they ate. All agreed this day was great. They look ahead to warmer days when dino Easter's on its way. The end. Dino Thanksgiving. Hopefully everybody's still practicing good hygiene. Um, I know one of our favorite songs that we've been using lately is the hand washing song. So let's sing it together. It goes, tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between. Rub them all together, rub them all together, nice and clean nice and clean tops and bottoms tops and bottoms in between in between scrub them all together scrub them all together nice and clean nice and clean <laughs> good job everyone well, thank you everyone for joining us today for another virtual story time we will see you next time <laughs>